While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So it said it shall come to pass, meaning in the future, that was gonna, Moses, he, he, he spoke this hundreds of years ago. He prophesied this was gonna happen hundreds of years, thousands of years ago. See, John. And he said that it shall come to pass that if you don't listen to what this Bible says do, you're gonna be cursed. Right. Watch this, read on. Curse shall thou be in the city. Say what? Curse shall thou be in the city. So Moses prophesied if we didn't listen to this Bible, we didn't do what it say do, that we was gonna be cursed in the city. What city we in right now? What nation of people you see at the bottom of society? Right. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. Because don't know the only people I see in this community. You cross the division, you run into what? The Hispanics. You come back on the other side of the division, you got your what? Your so-called blacks. How ironic is that? The street division divides the 12 tribes. Right. The street is called division, but it divides the blacks from the Hispanics. Bring it up. How ironic is that? It's crazy, right? Read it again. Christ shall thou be in the city. So when I look around the city of Chicago, in my community, in our neighborhoods, all I see is blacks and Hispanics at the bottom of society. Shooting dope, smoking dope, snorting it, slanging it, game banging, section eight, low income housing, project, prostitution, what? Killing each other. Killing each other. Read on. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. My sister, what's your name? Catherine. Catherine. What does it mean when it says, curse shall, y shall thou be in the field? When was we cursed in the field? Because remember, this is a prophecy. This was prophesied thousands of years ago. Right. So Moses prophesied that we was going to be cursed in the city, which you, you, see, you see right here check, today. Check. And he said we was going to be cursed in the field. When was we cursed in the field and what was we doing? <laughs> Picking cotton. You're 100% right. Take a look at this right here. Uh, where we at? Right. Right. See yeah, right up in here. Bob. Yeah. You see that? We are forced to pick cotton. So I mean. Alright? And guess what happened when we did pick Look at this picture right here. Beat him. You see that? Moses prophesied that that was gonna happen to us. Moses prophesied that we was gonna go into slavery. That's what he prophesied. That curse is us being enslaved. Right. We are the Israelites. Yes. You never knew that, did you? But now I'm bringing it to you. Now you, your spirit is bearing witness with the Bible. You are now bearing witness with the Bible. We're gonna bring the Bible to life. So now you can fully understand it. How do our, how do our people? So-called blacks, Hispanics, right. Native Indians, get on this side of the earth. They bought us on what? My brother. Hold on. Hold your question. Don't forget. How did we get to this side of the world? We walked. We, we walked? He said we walked. What you say? Bottom of the boat. Bought us on the what? Bottom of the boat. He said on the boat. What you say, sis? I said, I said, I said, I on what? On ships. On ships. Watch this. I'm going to prove to you that the Bible is a real book. In fact, it's your history book. Right. All right? Give me verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? Ships. With ships. Now, you might be thrown off a little bit because it said, the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. What is the word Egypt is synonymous for? What does the word Egypt mean? Give me that in Exodus right quick. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Bondage. What does bondage mean? Slavery. So Egypt is synonymous for bondage or slavery. Right. Give me 68 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Why did it say again? Because remember, when did we leave the, the, the land mass of Egypt? And under who? Remember Moses? He walked us out of the land of Egypt. Right. When, the, when the Lord allowed him to split the Red Sea, we walked out that time. But guess what happened? We came out, we started breaking the commandments again. And we went into captivity, after captivity, after captivity, to the point where the Lord said what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery. 
again uh-huh. rip ships with cargo slave ships. Cargo slave ships. Who got the slave ship side? Let me get that. We got it. Don't worry about it. I want you to match. Do you know that they? It wasn't just one slave ship either. It was thousands of ships that sailed from the coast of Africa to Americas, right? Jamaica to Puerto Rico to Spain to Spain. All right. Read. And by the way, where I might speak unto thee, Moses said, "The way I'm prophesying this to you, that's how it's gonna happen." Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. When we got on those slave ships. We never saw our homeland again. Once we left that shore of Africa, it was a wrap. We never saw it again. Right. Read. And there. And where? And there. And there. When we landed here in America or Puerto Rico or Mexico, wherever we was landed, it said, and there. Read. Ye shall be sold. We shall be what? Sold. We shall be sold. When we came to the land mass of America, look, look, look at this side right here. Look at that. What is that taking place right there? What's that? That's an auction block. Right. And we are being sold right here in America. The moment we got off those ships, we stood on blocks just like this. And the white man took a thing and said, check us this, this guy right here. Strong teeth, strong bones. Look at his arms. 45, 45, sold to Master Charles in the, right. from uh, Mississippi. 35, 45, sold Virginia. to, to uh, Master, Master Jackson in Virginia. You understand? They auctioned us off. Take another look. You see? So-called white man. And the Lord shall bring me into Egypt again with ships. Uh-huh. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee, Read. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh-huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto your what? Unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. So, if it said we was going to be sold to our enemies, today, who would those enemies be? Bring it up. The white people. So-called white people. Is it just the only them, though? No. Who else? Who, who you say? So what you say? People. Well, Africans, the real Africans, ancient, ancient the ancient Egyptians. Because remember, when we was in Egypt, those was ancient Egyptians, those were Egyptians. The real Africans, they, they had us in slavery too. Right. A lot of our people today, we think that we African American. No, that's a title that was put upon you. You was classified as African American. That's not who you are. I'm here to tell you, according to the Bible, you are an Israelite. Right. You are the real Jew that I'm going to speak of. I'm going to show you who the fake Jews are. Because you, if you're the real Jew, who the fake Jews? Give me, give me that revelation. Right two and nine. Revelation. Chapter 2, verse 9. Uh-huh. I know thy works. The Most High God said, I know thy works. I know what you do on a day-to-day system. Brother, I know what you're about. The Lord said, I know what you're about. He know what you're about too, brother. Watch this. I know thy works uh-huh. and tribulation. And I know the troubles that you face on a day-to-day basis. I know you're waiting on that stimulus. I know you're hurting. The Lord said that. Read. And poverty. And poverty. He know that we're in the ghetto. The Lord know we're at the bottom of society. Look around. Read. Us rich. Why he called us rich? Because we was given a promise to inherit the kingdom, the heaven. He, we have a covenant through our forefather Abraham right. to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Bring That's up. why he called us rich. Read on. And I know the blasphemy. And he know the lies. Blasphemy mean lies. He said, I know the lies of what? Of them which say they are Jews. He know the lies of those that say they are Jews. Read. And are not. But they're not. So the fake Jews are the so-called white men who walk around with the long beards and the hats on, That's with the little four tassels on. He said that the fake Jews, watch this, read. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. He said they're not the real Jews. They are the synagogues of Satan, meaning they are the devils. Right. You want to know who the devil is? The devil is the so-called white man that the Bible speak of. Right. Get, get to me in Revelation 3 now. Watch this. Yeah. yeah. You know what right. the devil, Trump is there, you know. What does devil mean? Trump is the devil. Devil means deceiver. Right. They deceived us. When he get in office, he gonna take care of us. Deception. That's the devil. Remember the history of our, four, our forefather and foremother, Adam and Eve? Who was it that was deceived? Yeah, who, who did that though? The devil. The devil. Say, watch this, read. Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Read it again. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Uh-huh. Which say they are Jews. You see that? He said, I'm going to make them the synagogues of Satan, which say they are Jews. Again, who's going around the earth today saying they are the Jews? 
Israel. Then you got the fake people in Israel. They going around saying they the real Jews. Right. Read on. And are not, but do lie. They do what? Lie. All they do is lie. Give me that in uh, Psalms. They, 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 they estranged from the womb. All they do is lie. Your so-called white man is the best dece deceiver there is on the planet. Watch this. Read, read that. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 58. The so-called white man, the devil the Bible speak of. All they do is lie. Watch this. Read. Psalms, chapter 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The what? The wicked. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Meaning, soon as they come out, head first they born. Watch this. Read. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. You see that? Read it again. They go astray as soon as they are born, speaking lies. Speaking lies. The moment they're born, they're speaking lies. Right. So, y'all gonna learn who your enemy is and who your brothers is. We gotta, we gotta learn that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians are God's chosen people. Right. We are the Israelites. We are the real Jews. There's no need to be having a uh, hatred for your own brother. That's right. Y'all fighting over city blocks. There's no need for that. Right. Shoot each other down. There's no need for that. What the hell you fighting over a block for when we was we was given the entire world? The Lord gave us the entire world. Give me that asterisk. We, here we is fighting over a street corner when the Lord promised us the world. You understand? Watch this. Second Exodus chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. Who he what? Thou hast chosen. See who he chose. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Uh -huh. Because thou madest the world for our sake. He made the what? World for our sake. Israelites. Read up. As for the other people. As for who? The other people. As for the other people that you don't see on this side. Right. They're not on this side. It says for, it says as for what? As for the other people uh -huh. which also come of Adam. Uh -huh. They are as said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. They are nothing. Read. But be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. Spit. When you spit out your mouth. You're not thinking about that. Where does spit go? It's nothing. He said that they are nothing. You understand? Was it more than that? And has written the appointments of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. A drop that falleth from a vessel. For instance, there's water. It's nothing. I don't care about that. It's nothing. That's what they're thinking of other nations. Read on. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen. They, they what? These heathen. The other nations are considered heathens. A heathen is any nation, any race outside of the nation of Israel. Right. You are considered a heathen. Read on. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. The other nations had a reputation for as being nothing. They always had a reputation of being nothing. That's why they pride themselves in Hollywood. The red carpet. They try to make some of themselves. Right. But they're really nothing. Okay. Uh, is, it, is it more than that? Read have on. begun to be lords over us. They begin what? Have begun to be lords over us. Who rule of us today? Be, be real. Where do you get that mask from? Hey, rap. Right. There you go. Where do you get that? Where you get that mask from? Uh, I'm See what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait, you got a job, right? You work. Who, 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 who you work for? Like there you go. Where your paycheck come from? Like who take taxes out your check? Yeah. There you go. Read it again. Have begun to be lords over us. They lord over us. They tell us what they gonna take out, what they gonna give us. At the end of the year, what they gonna take out, what they gonna give us. They lord over us. They tell us how many hours you gonna work. You gonna work eight hours from today. No break. They, they lord over us. They tell us what we allowed to move to. No, you can't move over here, but you can move over there. Right. You ever heard of redlining? Redlining is mean they got a certain section cut out just for you and a certain section cut out just for them. Redlining, just like the, the L, you got the green line, the red line, that's all by design. Right. The red line only runs through majority of our neighborhoods, the blacks, Hispanics. But that purple line, that brown line, oh, that's all downtown. That's Gold Coast. That's North Side. You see what I'm saying? Green line, oh, that's West Side. That's all. You see what I'm saying? It's all about crafting design. Read. And to devour us. And to what? Devour us. They wear and they wore us out. Like the bottom of your shoe, how your, your soul get wore out. They wore, they devouring us. They work us to death. All right? 
they, 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 uh, they work us, we, they pay us little money. You understand? They devour us, bro. This whole pandemic, this COVID-19, crap. Right. That's all crap designed as well, too. All right, but make no mistake about it, there is a God, all right? The most high God is behind everything. So it ain't gonna be too long when it's, these other nations gonna keep devouring us like that. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, give me verse 48. Deuteronomy 47. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So the Bible says, since you don't want to serve the Most High God with the joyful and gladness of your mind, read. For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things. Remember, we just read that he made the world for us. We serve in God for the entire world. He gave us the abundance of all things. Read. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies. So since you didn't want to serve the Most High God, he said, therefore you shall do what? Serve thine enemies. Now, notice it said enemies. That's plural. That's not singular. That's right. So enemies, who do we serve today? Let me ask you a question. If you want to, no, matter of fact, I'm going to hold my question. Read on, watch this. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee uh -huh. in hunger. What? In hunger. So when you want to feed your belly, you hungry, you got to serve your enemy. You got to go to your enemy. Right. Because you want to, you want, you want to, uh, let's say you want a Philly cheese steak. Nine times a ten, you can go to Baba's, right? Who own that? The Arabs, right? For hunger. If you want to go grocery shopping, nine times a ten, you can go to either Walmart, Jewel, Aldi. Who own those corporations? So-called white man. Break it out. Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So whenever you're hungry, you got to go to them to buy food. Read up. And in thirst. For thirst. This bottle of water. We don't own the water reservoirs. Avion, Avion and Dasani, um, Ice Mountain, Fiji. When we want some to drink, guess what? We got to serve the other nations. Right. Because we don't own it. We don't. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. Like that Chicago Bulls hoodie you got on. You want to clothe your body for being naked? You got to go to their stores to get clothes. Right. You got to go to tops and bottoms. You got to go to the village. You know what I'm saying? Rainbow. Whatever. Read. And in what of all things. Whatever you want. You want a driver's license? a marriage certificate or even a death certificate right you gotta go through the white man to get that so-called white man other nations do you understand toilet paper we don't own none of that the textile we gotta go to them read on and he and who and he he has been specific he read shall put a yoke of iron upon my neck he shall put a yoke of iron upon our neck when do we have yokes of iron upon our neck look right here what is this Look at this. Look at this. You see that? Yeah. When, when was that? When did, when did that happen? Right about what time? Yeah. Who did it happen to? Who did this happen to? Read it again for me. And he, and he, he, read, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who is the he that put the yokes of iron on our necks? Don't be scared to say it. There you go. So-called white man. So right. Okay. All right. All right. Read on. Until. What? Until. Until. He has destroyed thee. Do we have the yokes of iron on our neck right now, physically? Not physically. Read it again. You're right. Until. So you're going to put the yokes on your neck until. He has destroyed thee. So guess what? They took them off because they understand now. These niggas are destroyed. Right. They don't know who they are. Right. Take the yokes of iron off their necks. They ain't going no damn well. Bring it out. You want to go? You are, you want to go to? You want to go to Africa? You want to go to Jamaica? Well, nigga, come get a passport from me. Right. That's how they we destroyed. They know they got us. We gotta go to them for permission to leave the country. We gotta get a pass. We gotta get a permission slip to leave the country. They call it a passport. Right. We gotta go through them to get that. So they said, you know what? Take the iron off their necks. They ain't going no damn well. You understand? We have been destroyed mentally. We don't know who we are. Watch this. Give me Isaiah. You know what I want. Yeah. We don't. need a state. Someone okay. Look, house arrest. Take the eye, take the yoke out of his neck. Put the band on his leg. He ain't going no damn way. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox know who his owner is. We're talking about an animal. An ox know who his owner is. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. The ass is another word for donkey or jackass, right? The donkey or the ass, he knows his master's crib. He knows where he belongs to. Read. But Israel, uh -huh. Israel. 
Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read. Does not know my people. Does not consider. We don't know who we are. Our people don't know. I can ask the next ten men that walk past what's their nationality. They don't know. That's Bible prophecy. Right. They don't know that they're the Israelites. You understand? They don't know that the word of God was given to them and them only. You understand? Uh, read on. A sinful nation. What, what God call us? A sinful nation. All we do is sin. The Lord, He told us, "Thou shalt not kill." What do we do? Shoot our own brother down the street. He say, "Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife." What do we do? Then that nigga going to work. Hey, let me in. He tell us, "Thou shalt not steal." What do we do when somebody gets shot down the street? We riot, break into the stores, and steal. That's stealing. Right. So we, he called us a sinful nation. Read it again. A sinful nation. Uh -huh. A people laden with sin. We laden with sin. Every move we make is sin. We laden with it. We sin it right. But people that's bad. They're selling right now today. Much exchange of money. Guess what? They're in the midst of sin. Right. Because what's today? Today is the Sabbath day. That's right. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Bring it up. You ever heard that before? When is the Sabbath day? What day of the week? I don't know. I'm not you heard of it? Good. Saturday, the seventh day. Today. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.